Hi, I'm Bill from LB Retro. Today, we are talking all about starting your reselling business in 2021. Hold tight and I'll get on with it. Thanks. I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and everyone that comments on my videos. So thank you very much. I'm here to help you, the reseller that's just starting out. It's a scary business. You don't have to worry about these things. Uh, some people think, oh, you know, I'm going to... Uh, price things wrong, you know, get delivery prices wrong. I don't know how to package. I'm going to guide you within this guide how to just start out on the basics of reselling. It may be simple to a lot of resellers, but we all have to start somewhere. We, I started years and years ago, and I've learned over the many, many years to perfect my techniques You'll do it your way, but I'm just going to tell you the simple ways of reselling. So stick with me and I'll tell you my top tips on reselling on Amazon, eBay and Etsy. And there's others on there as well. Hold tight. The basics you're going to need to start reselling. My first tool that I'd highly recommend that you buy. They're cheap, cheerful and they'll help you out get your packing done instantly that is a packing tape gun don't get a cheap one this is a 3m one i've been using this well this must be a 15 year old tape gun now <laughs> you can see it's, it's been through the been through the rocks hasn't it you know um they're just invaluable for for um taping all your parcels the next thing that I'm going to show you is a Stanley blade. This one is the ultimate one I've found over the years. I've used it. I used another one that was very similar to this. And I used that for nearly 20 years, I think. And it has been brilliant. Now, um, it might have been shorter than that. I'm not sure, but it's been a long time anyway. Um, the, the, on these particular Fat Max ones, you can store the blades in the handle that's you you will not be surprised you lose the, the the blades anywhere and you'll be effing and jeffing when you when you're cutting stuff and the blade blunts or it snaps or whatever you can't find a new blade or it's all in in the handle always keep them stocked up and that just clicks in like that really easy and safe it's got a nice rubber handle, so you've got a nice grip on it. It's, it's really, really nice to grip. The best feature of this is you can have two blades in this. So one, one button does a straight blade. The other one does a hook blade. Ideal for doing, uh, if you want to sort of cut parcels or the hook, um, or have two blades, one on standard, standby. You know, it's ideal for that. Now, if you've ever had a, a cheapy, Stanley, old-fashioned type of uh, blade, you'll know what a pain it is to unscrew it and the thing pops out and you have to get all line it up. It's a nightmare. I've got a couple of them. They're, they're good. They're cheap, cheerful. They do the job. But when you want to change the blade, it's a pain in the backside. This is simple. Now, just watch. I'm, I'm video recording this, and it's probably not going to go right. But you basically pull the blade right to the right to the top. You've got that little clicker goes left or right. We, we're on the right blade, so we press it to the right. You pull your blade out. You put the new blade in, like so, like that. Make sure it's uh, trapped in there, safe, and then. That's as quick as that. To change your blade, that is as quick as that. I love this blade, and the link in the description below to this actual one. If you use it, I get a little kickback from Amazon. Cheers. The next thing I'm going to talk about is sticky tape. 
50 mil sticky tape. This particular brand, the original sticky tape, is the best one. I can, I've tried all sorts. And the number one thing that I want is low cost. And, well, that's not the first thing, but that's one of the things that keeps it. But I want it sticky. It's got a stick. Now, some of the parcel tapes I've tried, that if you don't have a brand new box, they, they just won't stick. And if, like me, you like to reuse some of the boxes, you'll find that if you leave it for a little bit of time, the tape comes off, you know, and that's the last thing you want if you package it all nice and the and the tape starts coming off. I, I like the clear one because the clear on any type of product looks nice. You use that horrible brown one. It's not nice. Don't don't go with some people. They use that brown one. The the clear with the brown exactly the same price. Um, I it's hard to get this sticky tape one because some people uh, don't sell it. But I'll put the link in the description where to get this from. Uh, I get it from eBay. You could get a really good price, and I'll do the best price you could get it for. You have to buy a bulk. I'm afraid. But you tend to use so much tape. I guarantee you'll go through that box instantly. I bought a 30, uh, a 72 box, I think it is. And that's gone within two or three months. So you will use loads. More you use, the safer the parcel. So that's my one of my tips. The next thing I'm going to say you're going to need, and this is a top tip, baby wipes. These are invaluable for anything that you need to wipe down quickly. Time's money. You know that is a very true saying. You, these baby wipes um, I get from Amazon. They're Amazon brand. They are non-scented, so they don't scent the products up that you don't want, especially if you've got to wipe something on a, a, a bit of clothes. There's a little mark on it or whatever. You just want to wipe it off, dry it, and then picture it. These are ideal. Um, I buy them in a big, big box. They're not that expensive, about 11, 12 quid for a whole big box. They're really good. They do have the plastic thing to snap it down with. This one actually snapped off, but that's my fault because I dropped it on the floor. I just trod on it. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, but um, these these particular ones are good and they're really good value. So uh, the link will be in the description below. The next thing I'm going to say that really should be on the number one uh, of your reselling business is a smartphone. Now, these are ideal because they have really good cameras on the back. Um, I'd say when you go to the settings on your phone, make sure it's on the highest setting possible. The best photos, uh, you they speak hundreds of words, thousands of words. You have heard that saying before. Um, I put mine on the highest resolution. Okay, it takes longer to upload all your, your images and stuff to eBay or Etsy, but it's ideal. I've got a photo app, and I'm going to put a few images of how we do the uh, pictures, some of the pictures that we do. Um, this is the, it's a brilliant app. I'm going to leave the description the link in the description below on the youtube video on my review on this app and it's, it's gonna I, I sell so much more by using this app so i highly recommend it the next thing i'm gonna say that really should be on the number one uh, of your reselling business is a smartphone now these are ideal because they have really good cameras on the back um i'd say when you go to the settings on your phone, make sure it's on the highest setting possible. The best photos, uh, you, they speak hundreds of words, thousands of words. You have heard that saying before. Um, I put mine on the highest resolution. Okay, it takes longer to upload all your, your images and stuff to eBay or Etsy, but it's ideal. I've got a photo app, and I'm going to put a few images of how we do the uh, pictures, some of the pictures that we do. Um, this is, the, it's a brilliant app. I'm going to leave the, the link in the description below on the YouTube video on my review of this app. And it's, it's going to, I sell so much more by using this app. So I highly recommend it.
the next thing I'm going to say that you're going to ultimately need is bubble wrap. Now, getting cheap bubble wrap may be one of those top things that you think might be good for you. Don't go down the cheap route. Cheap is not always good. Now, I'm going to show you a test um, on, well, I'm not going to show you a test, but I'm going to show you something that you're going to find invaluable is when you rip this, it rips in a straight line. On the cheap one, it's a non-straight rip. So it will come off at an angle, and that's a pain in the butt if you're you're constantly packaging and you just want some, some you don't want to be cutting it with scissors. Ripping it is the quickest. And plus you've got more chance of cutting yourself with the scissors than, than just ripping it. So um, I've got, um, a, I don't get a kickback for this. I recommend this company highly. Uh, the link is in the description below on the bubble wrap supplier I use. Uh, they do Jiffy at, or um, uh, there's another brand, but they're both as good of it as each other. Um, I buy mine in bulk. I buy mine in free rolls uh, time because I've got this massive reselling shed and I, I can store it. But when I was uh, started reselling uh, full time in in my house, we could only put one. We could only order one bubble wrap. Now that's fine. You can only store one bubble wrap. That's fine. They do the small roll, uh, small bubble, and the big bubble. I tend to use the small one for sort of delicate items um, or you know, wrapping around a few times because it's a tighter uh, wrap. The big stuff for for um, uh, big items, uh, you know, uh, delicate items, you you can get nice big bubble wrap, nice big bubbles on it. That's pretty good. But bubble wrap is your key to to. Uh, you can get uh, packing free from Facebook and stuff, but you'll find it's really hard to keep getting bubble wrap and you've got to travel to go get it and it's just hard it's cheap enough just to buy a roll that lasts you a while while you're, you're reselling people will appreciate you've wrapped it properly um so my bubble wrap is another one the next thing i'm going to talk about is scissors these are the best scissors and i can i can i can hands down say why when these, when you cut with these, to the right tip of the blade is called a micro serration. They're made in Japan by Kai. And if you know anything about uh, Japanese um, samurai swords, Kai is the one of the best makers for swords. Now, not only swords, they do uh, all sorts Kai. But why I want the micro serration is, say you've got a, a pair of trainers and there's a tiny little... Um, cotton sticking out you could just snip it off tight these scissors here are brilliant the, I, I could highly recommend these Kaya scissors uh, and micro serration the link in the description below they're fantastic you, you and they're great for cutting fabric all sorts I used to be in the blinds and curtain industry and we used to use these all the time because they are good. So recommended a pair of scissors. And this will last your lifetime. They, they, these are about 10 years old, these ones. And they're still sharp as anything. And I've cut all sorts with them. So definitely recommend. The next thing I'm going to talk about is boxes. You could get boxes from various sort of shops and stuff when they're open, obviously. Um, try and get the strong box not the thin thin sort of rubbish ones because they're not going to protect anything if uh the courier company just launch it you know like they normally do you you're going to find that whatever item is going to get damaged you, the last thing you want is a return on one of these platforms because returns people are never happy with um you the seller because you've got to refund them by law you have to refund them fully so you lose out the delivery cost Returning the item uh, costs you money. Um, if it's all damaged, sometimes you just have to cut your losses. Um, you know, you, you won't get uh, much from really crap boxes. Now, I buy these boxes uh, because they're, they're really good. Now, um, 
why I like these boxes, and I don't know if you can see in the video, you can see these fold lines. Can you see these fold lines here? Basically, you could you could cut down this with your your knife and fold on their levels. They're called multi-level ones. Now I like that to save on void fill, um, like bubble wrap or, or the paper. They're absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got a link in the description below to a uh, uh, deal. Uh, I think you get 50 for about £36. These are really good because they like the multi-level, see? You could do ball games in them. They go on a small, raw mail, small parcel rate because um, they're the exact dimensions of that. So you could go maximum or smaller, and you know that they're going to be under under that, that brand uh, of parcel delivery service. Uh, so box is a definite uh, one that you you could stock. As I say, you can get them. Facebook Marketplace is a good one for boxes. But as I say, um, that you never always got the right size for the item. So when I said to you earlier about Frankenboxing, when I say Frankenbox, it's a term where you have to use two boxes and cut them and frankenstein the box to make it to fit the product i'd i'd say um ultimately just um try not to frankenbox your stuff if you can because that takes time frankenboxing does take a long time i do it i must admit i have to do it quite regularly because i have massive unusual items and then i have to frankenbox big boxes uh, to to fit a certain big item, but I sell. I will I will send anything. So don't be scared to send anything. If you you've got any worries, put them in the comments below. The link in the description below um, for the boxes that I use, and I, I say I've I've been using them for ages, and they're just brilliant boxes. And they come all like flat packed, so they don't take a lot of space up in your house. You can you can put them in a slot somewhere out the way. The next thing I'm going to say that's uh, a real must if you can afford it is a scales. Now, um, this one is good because it detaches and that means you could do big boxes and still read the, the, the thing. You could do um, multiple um, things. It, they light up as well. So um, if it's a bit dark, they do. This one does up to uh, 27 kilos. So that's quite a big. I mean, you're not going to do much more than 27 kilos, I can assure you. But um, this one, Ultra Ship uh, brand, I've used another one of these that we we sold on a, on a previous business. So they, they, they hold their value. Um, and I've got a couple of different ones just to test them out recently. And they just don't. They just don't uh, compare to the ultra ship ones. These these are the ones that I go for. The link is in the description below. This is not essential, but it's something we got out of the early set of full time reselling because we wanted professional photos, um, and this app that I recommended below um, wasn't available. And still, we still use the Lightbox um, because it offers really good pictures. This uh, this actual Lightbox that we use, I recommended to loads of other resellers. They've taken it on and loved it, and they get professional videos and um, pictures within this Lightbox. I've got a full in-depth review of this Lightbox. Uh, with the link below and also the uh the link is below to purchase it as well this is a uh one of those things that you could buy not straight away because i started out with just a printer uh and printed out an a4 paper to do my labels and then folding or cutting out and and then sticky taping them on the parcels that's what we've done to at the very start of it because uh, you're going to find all of these things cost a lot of money and you could use the basics of these things just to get you along. But this is a uh, label printer. There's lots of resellers that have used label printers. Um, 
for one reason. They're just so quick. I mean, you haven't got to stick the tape on the putt. Like I said, you just hope you haven't got that steps. And when you're doing, when you get into sort of full time reselling, you get lots of products being ordered. That's a great thing, by the way, if you can get to that stage. Um, it's not easy. And I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, it's definitely not easy. And I say this time and time again, I give you the highs and lows of reselling. And that's very true. But as I say, um, a label printer. I've got a link to a full review of my one that I use. Um, other resellers have got them. You can buy them cheap. They're industrial printers. You can you can chuck them on the floor. Honestly, my ones fell on the floor a number of times. The panels come off it. Don't look most attractive, but it works. It's solid metal. Um, it's they're, they're made by Citizen. They're fantastic. Zebra, uh, I've not used because they're quite expensive. You know, I don't. I've, the last thing I want you to do as a reason is spend two, three hundred pounds on a printer that just prints uh, sticky labels. The labels, um, if you register for a Royal Mail business account, you're not necessarily going to do this straight off. You need to commit to a thousand parcels a year to get a business account. But as I say, if you get a business account, they do give you the labels free. But the labels are cheap enough to buy and the labels are in the description below where you can buy them. Also, the, the printers you can buy on eBay with the link in the description, Facebook Marketplace, they're, they're, they're all about, they come up every now and again. The As I say, I've done a full in-depth review on this and the link's below. The next thing that is a cheap item to buy that's going to save you loads of time um, working out your sizes on your parcels and large letters and stuff when you send in raw mail is one of these guides. These are brilliant. They're made of acrylic. Um, the large letter goes through there. The normal letter goes through that slot. That's a, um, I think it's a small parcel size, but it's a ruler up to 350. Yeah, that's 350 is the width of the, the small parcel. But if you buy the, the, um, the boxes below you don't need to do that see i don't have to work out the size of stuff um, because i know that's under a small parcel rate um so you don't have to have that thought process see when you've got um unusual boxes in from shops you're gonna find you're gonna have to you're gonna have to measure them all up just to check um i've got to the point where i could sort of see from a size because i've done those boxes quite regularly i could see if a box is that or below but it's going to take you some time to figure that one out. But this is an ultimate guide. They, these are brilliant. And I still use it for doing a large letter. That's another tip as well. Um, when you've got clothes and stuff, get all, squeeze all the, the life out of the clothes. Not crease them or make them uh, distorted. But make sure that you, you, you can put some clothes will go through that large letter and a large letter i don't know what the price is but i think it's under a pound to send so worth it worth it if you could get that get that rate um so there's uh, books you know certain books magazines um uh, dvds cds they all go under a large letter so i definitely work one of them guides and the link is in the description below the next product that I can highly recommend, this stuff is brilliant, is called um, Elbow Grease. You could get in the pound shops and stuff, but they're not open at the minute, you know, for obvious reasons. They might be in your area, but this you could get for um, one pound, believe it or not, delivered on Amazon Prime. If you're a Prime member, definitely go for this. This stuff, Elbow Grease, is uh, non-toxic, I don't think. Anyway, yeah, solvent-free, sorry, not non-toxic, solvent-free. Um it's uh, I use it on trainers, cleaning up products, everything. Elbow grease for the for a pound, it's brilliant. It, it it's uh, it makes life really easy when you're cleaning products up, electronics, anything like that. You know, you've got to give it a wipe over with electronic spray on the microfiber cloth rather than spraying it on the product. That's you know, you're gonna if you get the product wet, it might seep inside, and that that might be a bit of a nightmare for you but uh, as i say this stuff is brilliant the link is in the description below i get a small kickback on on these products from amazon but as i say it's no it's no uh, cost to you um you just you get direct to the to the link so that is one pound delivered is phenomenal value 
the next thing is is a tape measure. You just can't go wrong with a decent tape measure. A steel rolled one. Look how knackered this one is. You know, they're, they're fantastic. And um, a good one is worth its weight in millions of pounds, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what the term is, but um, th these are invaluable. And you can't have enough tape measures laying around. So a link is in the description of the ones that I use below. Um, they're really good. They're expensive. They're not overly. They're more expensive than cheap ones, but um, the cheap ones break really easy. And I've sliced my finger open on a cheap one and um, never again will I buy a cheap tape measure. So um, highly recommended a good tape measure, a good steel tape measure is, is the best. The next thing I'm going to say is good um, screwdrivers. These uh, wearer brand are brilliant. Um, they grip phenomenal uh, when and they're... Uh, electric ones so you're, you're not going to get zapped <laughs> i'll tell you what i've been shocked in the past uh by just only 12 volts and that killed me <laughs> not literally but it zapped me down in the arm and that was bloody painful so you think anything 240 volts that kill you literally it'll stop your heart so getting a, a, a set of these you're not going to be working on electrics that say but it's worth, for the extra money, you might as well get the electric ones. You know they're safe. Um, Wearer is a top uh, German brand. Um, I've been using these for years. Um, these are nice and grippy. You get all the size. You get a big pack of them for not a huge amount of money. You won't always use screwdrivers. Um, I'd say if you're reselling electronics, you're going to need a screwdriver set. Um, Most of it, all furniture that there's certain tools that you will have to buy because you're you're doing a certain product you're reselling a certain product but to be fair having a good set of uh, screwdrivers around the house is 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 nice just to have and these wearer ones are just fantastic they they're, they're honestly they're just so nice to use you don't you don't hurt your hand if you're using it so much you know um so I highly recommend that the links in the description below this thing will only apply if you're going to be reselling clothes and this is a bobble off machine it basically takes off the bobbles off your clothes and if you've ever had one of those sort of uh, uh clothes that's got bobbles all over it i'll tell you what it really cleans up the edges on the on the bobbles you know and these are fantastic i, I highly recommend the bobble off machine i don't know if they're called bobble off machines but they take the bobbles off off the things but link on the one that i use is in the description below the next thing that I'm going to recommend you buy, you can get these uh, second hand, you know, renew them. Um, and that's uh, packing materials like bubble mailers, like the air cap ones. These are good because these are recyclable. They've now also put uh, a strip that you can make a rip, rip and return, I'd say that is. So um, not that you want returns, but they're, they're recyclable because you can pull the bubble wrap in the side and reuse that. Um, also plastic mailers these are fantastic you get them in all different colors i tend to go for the nice thick ones be be careful of the ones with the strips that are too tiny i've had a few that are a bit a bit of pain in the butt to, to rip them off and when you when you when you try to do loads of parcels if you're trying to go like that trying to get the bloody thing you're effing and jeffing not on their thing you, <laughs> you want a nice easy sort of pull off and and sticky tape down and solid permanent stick they're, they're recommended you know um the link is in the description below on those ones but highly recommended the next thing is not imperative uh but if you're going to go full time reselling into clothes are going to go full whack on clothes a steamer like this one is phenomenal it's a big old unit um they do take up a lot of space i must admit it's a it's a big clunky unit but being a big clunky unit you find that um takes a lot of water so that means a lot of steam time if you've ever got tons of uh shirts or whatever clothes then you've got a whole bundle of them and 
they increase the bugger, you do, you're definitely going to want to uh, steam them. If you like ironing, be my guest and iron, iron away. But steaming is so much quicker. I do my clothes in batches, you know, massive batches. We just pile them up, make sure there's no stains on them because we do a stain pole that goes into the wash and obviously stain removal and all process pole. So make sure you, you look at all of your stuff, all of your clothes and, and separate which ones have got to do what. Um, steaming, I get a massive batch of them and, absolutely fantastic this one um you can get it on ebay the link is in the description below and uh they they're expensive but um if you're thinking of going full-time or clothes it's it's highly recommended those handheld chinese ones are rubbish uh they last five seconds honestly these ones continuously for ages i do tons tons of clothes before that runs out and that by that point, you're sick of it and you want a cup of tea. So <laughs> it's worth getting a big, big tank one. They use them all in the charity shops, this branded one. And you know why? Because they're, they're just faultless. Thank you for joining me today on this basics of reseller tools and tips. If you haven't subscribed, then I wish you could subscribe today uh, because you'll be missing out on some great content like this coming up. Um, if you could lit leave a nice thumbs up that does help me um, and help this video bump up so other people can benefit from it as well if you've got a comment then please leave a comment below as i say all the links to all the things that i use are in the links below as i say you'll be helping me out because i get a small kickback uh, for you using the link um, it's no cost to you it's just um helps me out and run my channel believe it or not it costs a fortune to run a youtube channel speak to anyone that runs a youtube channel everything costs money so i really appreciate if you use the links as i say thank you so much for coming today um i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye yeah. it's nothing that i feel